The well-known preloader app is now compatible with the Wii U. And if you didn't know, it will allow you to add system menu hacks to your virtual Wii, which you can make it region free. You can move your disc channel, block updates, and I'll tell you more later in the video. Now this is big news for the Wii U modding scene as before this release, if you installed Preloader on your virtual Wii, it would brick it. So today I'm going to show you how to set up Preloader on your Wii U and explain some perks that come with it. All the links that I will be using are linked in the description, so if you click on the first one, it'll take you to this official Preloader Wii guide. And the first thing to mention is that if you do run into issues doing this, there is an official Reconnect24 Discord server you can join right here. So if you scroll down, we're going to grab the downloads that we need for this guide. So we're going to click on Preloader Installer. It'll take us to this page for the Open Shop channel. Scroll down where you can see Download File. It'll download a zip file. We can exit that page and grab Load Preloader. It'll take you here as well and click download file on the zip file. Close that page and if you look in the green box you can see that there is a preloader Wii U forwarder but right now as of recording this link is not working so I will have an alternate link in the description to take you to the official release where you can scroll down and grab the preloader Wii U forwarder .web file. Because it's a .web file, you do need a Roma environment for your Wii U, so if you don't have that, check the top right and in the description and I will link a video on how to set it up. But once you have all of those, we can open up the SD card you use to mod your Wii U. I'm going to open up my downloads and let's start off by opening the preloader zip. Open it up, see an apps folder here, all we're going to do is grab it and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Close the zip file, we can delete it from our computer, open up the load preloader zip, and same thing, you should see the apps folder here, drag it onto the root of your SD card, close the zip file, delete it from the computer if you wish, and now we're going to put the preloader Wii U forwarder on our SD card. So on your SD card, go into your Wii U folder, open up your apps folder, and we're just going to plop this right in here. Back on the root of your SD card this is what it's supposed to look like so if you go inside of the apps folder on the root of your sd card you should see load preloader and preloader and the wub should be in the wii u apps folder once you have all that ready to go we can head over to the wii u i will meet you there once you insert your sd card into your wii u and load it up make sure that you are running your aroma custom firmware and on the wii u menu you should see boot to preloader that is the Wii U forwarder that we added to our SD card. Now you can load preloader through this forwarder, but I'm going to be going through the VWE just so you get the idea of that as well. So let's go to the Wii menu quick. And once you're over on your virtual Wii, head into the homebrew channel, load it up. And once your apps load, you should see load preloader and preloader installer. We are going to start with the preload installer. So click on it and load it up. If you've done preloader on the actual Wii, then you already know what to do. But once you see this page, just click the plus icon. It'll check for preloader and then it will download it. So press A to exit back to the loader. And we now have preloader installed on our virtual Wii. Go over to the other page and now we can load preloader through this app right here. So click on it, load it up. And I'll show you the best settings to have and the best hacks to use for preloader. So right here is the main menu for preloader. Second most important thing next to the brick protection would be system menu hacks, which is right here. So click A on it. And here there's a whole list of different hacks you can enable. So I'm going to give you a few that I would suggest you change. Click A on block online updates so that it shows enabled. I like to enable the auto press A at the health and safety screen, move disk channel, region free everything, scroll down to uh, remove deflicker. This will remove the deflicker filter and make the Wii menu appear more clear. And if you use reconnect 24, this is pretty big for the Wii U because now you can have always enable Wii connect 24 for the Wii. So I'm going to turn that on as well. 
And if you're curious about all of these other hacks, I will have a full list of what they do in the description so you can check that out for yourself. But those are the settings I like to change. Once you have everything selected that you want, just click A on save settings, settings saved, press B and we're back at the preloader menu. And when you're in this menu, you can just select whichever thing you want. You can just select homebrew channel and it'll load you directly into the homebrew channel. Let's quickly go back to the system menu, to the Wii U menu, and we'll try out the Wii U forwarder. So here we are back on the Wii U menu. Let's click boot to preloader and just test this out. And there we go, it loads directly into preloader, which is very cool and very, very useful. If you're interested in more Wii and Wii U modding videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any new updates. Thank you for watching, and again, big shout out to the developers for getting all this ready. All I do is showcase what they made, so big shout out to them. But anyways, thank you for watching, stay funky, and happy modding.